Hi there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Angela and it's been a hot minute since I've chatted with you guys. To any new subscribers out there, welcome and thank you so much for joining in. I do have an update for you and to show off my finished make here. It is the Quick Sew 2875 hooded cardigan there and I'm going to show you how it turned out in entirety front and back and uh, whether I liked it and everything like that and talk a little bit about the pattern but first I would like to say thank you guys so much for all the feedback that you have provided to me regarding design and fitting decisions I had to make while making this uh, I'm calling it a hoodie it's a uh, it's more like a, a hooded cardigan is what they call it. It's not, it's more of like a dress up hoodie, not a, an athletic hoodie or a fleece hoodie or something like that. I'm just still calling it a hoodie for the sake of um, abbreviation. There were so many adjustments that I made to this hoodie along the way. And it seems like at every step, I put out questions to all of you and you guys fed me back so much good information. And when I show you how this turned out, um, I'm going to do this in front of the full length mirror over in the other room. I'll point out some of the suggestions that you guys made that I took you up on and it made all the difference in the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit about the pattern and I'm not going to do a full pattern review, which I normally do when I finish making something uh, just because I did make so many changes to this that I don't feel like it would be a fair review. The biggest, uh, right, out, right out the gate, the biggest change was that um, this pattern is designed for stretch knits only with 25% stretch across the grain. I used a woven and taking that into consideration, I, I took that into consideration when uh, cutting out, deciding on sizing, cutting out the pieces, making adjustments. And overall, it worked out really well. But I normally um, don't suggest doing that unless you are made something similar before or worked with a particular type of fa fabric before. Uh, otherwise, it could end up uh, with not very good results. But luckily, it turned out okay. And one thing that made the woven fabric do okay was that this is um it's, it's called a shirting but it's kind of let me get a little scrap here it is it feels and kind of behaves like a gauze so i feel as if it does have like a you know a slight little bit of maybe mechanical is that mechanical stretch so it's not uh, a firm rigid tight woven fabric maybe like a poplin or something a line maybe that would have no forgiveness at all so that worked really well i got this fabric from stylemaker.com i will put a link to it below i did check before starting recording and i am recording this on thursday july 25th they do still have it listed for sale on their website so it is still available i'm going to show you guys and get that little um, scrap again and show you up close so you can kind of see the texture that it has the name of this fabric is called scrawling lines i believe so you can see the color variation kind of variegated there wavy lines i love this fabric so much i've had it for a while and i was kind of waiting um, on like just the right thing to use it and i'm very happy that i chose this hoodie to make this out of and a couple other things about the pattern before I show you how mine turned out. It comes with a couple other options. It comes with a camisole and the same cardigan, but without a hood. I hope uh, those line drawings are showing up for you there. And I've also already talked about the fabrics. The suggested fabrics specifically are interlock textured knits, stretch velour, Pointel jersey and thermal knits. So, yeah, and then there was no notions, just, uh, well, okay, I say there was no, I didn't use any notions. Uh, if you're doing this by the pattern, like following it to the letter of the law, you'll need some notions. So, other than thread for the cardigan, you'll need 
one half inch button or hook and eye to go here at the top. And when I started this, I had intended to do that little button or some type of closure at the top there. Now that I'm finished with it, I don't think I'm going to do that. And then the other uh, thing, you'll need a scrap piece of fusible interfacing. And I don't know if that's for like the facing. If this, I kind of abandoned the instructions pretty early on into this whole make process just because I was making so many changes to it. This hoodie may have called for facings. If it did, I did not use them. I just um, surged the uh, edge and then folded it under. That's uh, one of the things that you guys suggested. I'll tell you more about that here in just a moment. Uh, so I, I drastically changed the pattern, which is why I don't feel comfortable calling this a pattern review, uh, whether it was easy or hard or anything like that. I feel like overall it's probably pretty simple. And if I had used the stretch knit and hadn't done so many fitting adjustments and changed the hood, that's another big one that I'll share with you. Uh, I feel like it probably would still be pretty easy make. All the changes that I make that I made made it a little more complex. And some of them were fitting adjustments that needed to be made. And some of them were uh, design choices that I made. So enough about that. If you're ready, I'm going to show you what this looks like. And then we're going to come back here. And I am going to be very happy to show you what my next make is going to be. I drug my feet on this one for so long, not because um, it was not enjoyable. I did enjoy the process. And even with all the changes that I had to make or chose to make, it was still a very enjoyable process and a learning experience. So it's just um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was kind of at a point uh, where I just needed some R&R and, &R and it kind of there's gets into a little bit of some health things, nothing major. I won't go into that on this video. Maybe a, maybe the next time I do a Friday sews, I can talk to you guys a little bit about that. But most of all, I'm happy to share with you guys that I am moving on to my next project and I can't wait. So with that, let's take a look at this hooded cardigan. So I think what I'll do first is just do a little twirl so you guys can see all sides of it. And then I'm going to talk about the adjustments and the changes that I made. So if you're ready. and i have to give it a good press i normally am a die hard press as i go like each seam i didn't do this because there was so much um, basting and unpicking and i thought i'm just going to move forward with it and i'll press it at the end and i was kind of afraid to do too much pressing to it because i didn't know how it would affect that little crinkle gauze appearance but i think i can give it a light press without um, impacting that at all so I'm going to take the microphone off. That way I can put the hood on and this won't be kind of in the way. So if I get a little bit uh, tinny sounding, I apologize, echoey. Sorry about that. I'm just going to set this aside. So as far as changes went, I'm going to go over fitting adjustments first, and then I'll talk about design choices that I made. So for fitting, I cut a large at the shoulders, grading to an extra large at the hips. And I did end up having to take in the shoulder seams even more after my couple of rounds of muslining. So I realized that it was still a little large and I feel like it is kind of still large under, you know, in the arm area, but I don't know what I'll be wearing this over the top of. So I'm kind of glad to have some roominess there. And I did kind of a full bust adjustment. I didn't want to have a dart in the side, you know, area. So I did the best I could to work around that and still get more room in front. And then in the back, I did a center back seam so that it would fit a little nicely back there. And I think that that is all of the fitting adjustments I made. Um, the sleeve length was perfect right out of the package. I didn't have to adjust that, which I was glad about. 
Uh, and as far as design changes that I made, I did put in little side vents, and that was one of your suggestions. Thank you so much. And even the fitting changes that I made, the adjustments were based on input from you guys. So thank you very much. Uh, the biggest design change that I made, though, was the hood. And the pattern just calls for just a regular, you know, standard hood with a center seam. I don't care for center seams generally in hoods, so I did um, convert it into a three-piece hood. So now there's just like this center, like these are seams right here. So there's a center panel right there. And my last video, I showed how I did that. And I thought it might be kind of helpful to put a playlist together of everything, all the videos I made during the process of this. In case you missed it, you're just jumping in now, you want to go back and see everything that led up to it. I'll go ahead and put a playlist together and I'll link that below in case you're interested. But I'm going to turn around and show you again with the hood up. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't think that I'm going to put a closure on here. I could if I wanted to, but um, I don't know. I don't really think it's needed. Overall, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? So what did you guys think? I hope that I remembered to tell you all of the changes that I made and give special thanks to each one of you guys because a lot of the changes were direct suggestions from you and i am thankful that i have all of your wisdom and experience to help me out when i get stuck on certain things and with that there are three questions that i always ask myself when i finish a make the first one is do i like the way it turned out I'm giving this a wholehearted yes, two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. I love this little hoodie. And yeah, would I make it again is question number two. Yes, for sure. I made sure to note all the adjustments on the, as I was doing several iterations of this, I may have forgotten to mention, I made two muslins of this, which is pretty rare for me to do. Um, I did change the pattern pieces to reflect the changes that I made on each iteration so that hopefully theoretically my new pattern pieces should be ready to go right off the bat so i would make this again and i think i have everything set up to do it much more easily and quickly next time and the third question that i ask is would i change anything i think that now that i already have changed a lot of things i wouldn't change anything else about it with maybe one exception i might consider adding some pockets onto the front here maybe just little patch pockets um you know just something to put a phone in or something like that or some keys uh, i think that i would have to use a little bit sturdier of fabric this is pretty lightweight if I wanted to have pockets that could withstand like the weight of a phone or some keys. So pockets might or might not be an option should I make this again. Now, moving on to the fun part of this video. I have got my next make lined up and it is a Simplicity Skirt S9788. And the fabric that I am using is this jersey knit here this i believe is also from style maker i think i got this on their salvage yard uh, area but and there may or may not be any left of this if i'll check and if there is i'll link it below but i'm going to do one of these i'd like to do one of the longer skirts um it just depends on how much because this was a remnant piece there may not be uh, you know enough um, but yeah, and I'm not sure if I want to do, bring this in close, that middle version where the front um, around the tummy is kind of all gathered up there, or the bottom one where there's like a little keyhole there. I'm kind of undecided on that. Um, I'll figure it out though soon because I'm itching to start on this. Uh, this pattern 
it does um this is they're the three versions that's all you get and here are the line drawings on that and this pattern was published when was this published 2023 so relatively new uh, and this of course is for stretch knits only such as bamboo interlock ity jacquard jersey rib knit so i am really excited this runs from 10 to 22 size wise yeah back to this i guess i could have given you a little bit more information on this this pattern goes from extra small to extra large which um bust is 31 and a half inches or 80 centimeters up to 45 inches or 114 centimeters and this is kind of an oldie this was published in 2000 so yeah uh, i think that i got this on ebay or etsy because of course it's out of print now i don't even think that they make quick sew patterns anymore i might be wrong on that but i'm thinking that they no longer do so but back to this the one thing that i love about this fabric other than all these gorgeous colors is that i think it will go really nicely with this and this is just um, a ready to wear top that i have on it's a sleeveless rib knit top that i think i got at kohl's many years ago but i feel like this would there's a lot of this gold color so it'll go with this for sure and any number of tops that i wear under probably including this actual one there's a lot of turquoise blue i think maybe this um this is in here this color is in there in small amounts but i think it i think it still works good enough um you know i could pick any of these colors to make a top to wear underneath my little topper here so i can't wait to get started on this i will keep you guys updated and i'm pretty sure that um, this make will go a lot more quickly than this did so thank you guys for bearing with me and i appreciate the fact that you stuck with me throughout this project even though uh, the videos have been kind of sparse it's always more fun when i have interactions from you guys and suggestions i love that and i appreciate it so much and i hope you will come back on monday for monday matchup the fun little game that we do on the channel every monday morning they're little short videos where i ask you guys to pick out fabrics to go with patterns and it's just a fun little way to match up a pattern with your choice of fabric people seem to have fun with it and i really enjoy reading your choices it's great fun i can't wait on monday morning the videos come out at midnight, like Sunday night, Monday morning at, at midnight. So by the time I'm up and going on Monday morning, there's usually already a few responses. And I really, really love reading those. So keep playing if you don't mind. I, I really enjoy that interaction. And I will talk to you then.